Harley investigated a crime bearing all the hallmarks of a brutal murder. Just short of his 65th birthday, Thomas Dooley lived alone here. Known better to his neighbours as Toddy, he shopped and socialised in the town nearby. So when he wasn't seen out for several days, the alarm was raised on Sunday afternoon. And when Garthy came here, they found him in his living room with severe head injuries. Kieran, it's fair to say there's a deep sense of shock in the community over Toddy's murder. Uh, that's correct, Grania. It has been a cause of great shock to the local community. I would like to take this opportunity to offer my condolences to the family. What kind of man was Toddy Dooley? Well, Toddy was 64 years of age, would have been 65 on the 10th of March. Um, he was a very quiet, uh, inoffensive man who went about his daily business in a very quiet way. You actually have some footage of him in the days leading up to his death, going about his daily business, as you said. Uh, that's correct. Uh, on the Monday night, uh, Toddy was seen going to a local store to get some groceries, and he can be seen entering the store and buying a number of items. He was a creature of habit, as happens to a lot of us, particularly as we approach middle age. What can you tell us about what he usually got up to in a day's well, work? That's correct. Toddy, was, no more than more than any of us, uh, was a creature of habit, as you say. Had, um, he would leave his home maybe 11, 11 30 in the morning, and he would head down the town and would normally end up in what's called Scanlon's Bar now, was known as the Long Bar. Uh, he would go into the bar, uh, sit in the same place most times, and have a few drinks. Now, you're look, looking to talk to anybody who would have seen him going about his business. During what time frame? Well, the last confirmed sighting of Toddy was at, um, uh, at 1 p.m. on Tuesday, the 11th of February. And his body was located on Sunday, the 16th. So that's the time frame we're looking at. It's Tuesday, the 11th of February to Sunday, the 16th of February. And what was happening on Tuesday, the 11th? Tuesday, he was um, he normally availed of the wheels and meals and wheels service, and he would avail of a meal on that day at Pockley, 1 p.m. And he wasn't seen after that. Let's set the date in people's minds. This is the week leading up to Valentine's Day, which would be would have been on the Friday, isn't that That's right? That's correct, and it's, it should be in people's mind. This was Valentine's week, as such, and this was the Tuesday that he was last seen at 1 p.m. Now, as you said, he was very popular in the neighbourhood, and the alarm was raised. Yes, his um, local neighbours were very concerned, and they contacted the guardie at approximately 3 p.m. on Sunday the 16th. Uh, the guardie went to the scene and located uh, Tommy in a very bad state. He was actually seriously assaulted. This was a violent crime, as you just said, but you are of the opinion that the solving of this crime, the answer is within the community. Yes, I have no doubt that people are out there tonight that are looking at this programme and to have vital information in relation to this investigation. And I appeal to those people to come forward and contact the programme tonight. Okay, Kieran, thank you very much for that.